This is Building 9, where we have a whole one-to-one, -one life-size mock-up of the International Space Station. Take me back to when you were first selected to be a part of NASA. What did that feel like when you got the acceptance letter? It's actually a phone call, and I was just so much in shock that I said something very eloquent, like, really? <laughs> we're going to be welcoming the new class of astronauts. They will embark on this two-year astronaut candidate training period, where they will be instructed and trained and then demonstrate proficiency in five main areas in order to graduate from being astronaut candidates and become full-fledged, assignable astronauts. <laughs> We have everyone's favorite, I think, learning how to use the spacesuit. We do that in the neutral buoyancy lab. You're weighing over 400 pounds when you're in the suit, so every movement, you know, every hand movement is like squeezing an exercise ball. Then we have the robotics training, so we learn how to fly the cannon arm, the big robotic arm that's on the outside of the space station. So we still use it on a routine basis to either reconfigure the space station, using it for spacewalks, using it to do different tasks or repairs on the outside of the space station. The third area that we have is the International Space Station systems. When we're up there, you know, if a light bulb needs to be changed or the toilet breaks, and that does happen quite a lot, we can't call a plumber or an electrician. We have to have a really diverse set of training so that we do that, all of that ourselves. So the fourth main area is Russian language. It's an international crew up there. Everybody has to be able to speak both Russian and English. And then the fifth main area in which we have to become proficient in order to graduate is flight training. So this is uh, Ellington Airfield and this is where we have our, our T-38s and we do something called space flight readiness training. It is the most real world thing that we do other than the actual flying in space. And so it also uh, requires us to learn to prioritize, make decisions and communicate effectively. And so it's, it's a really dense uh, type of, of training that we get to do. I mean, yes, it seems very important, but it also seems really fun. I mean, dangerous, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous, but fun. That's a good description of flying the T-38.